Hello everyone. This is likely to be our last drive on Tesla full cell drive in beta 10.3.1. Maybe. Elon says 10.4 is likely to come out this weekend. Um, it is Thursday afternoon or night, whatever you want to call it. But um, yeah, as you can see, what they have done, this came out in 10.2. This came out. It's not letting me enable full self driving right now because the GPS is off. I'm pretty sure once the GPS goes back on, it should let me enable it. There it goes. Oh, never mind, the GPS is still off. It'll fix itself here in a second. Though I guess by the time it fixes it, we're gonna have to disengage it. Um, I don't wanna take the freeway to where I'm going. Um, we are going through Saluda, North Carolina this also wait a second where did it get oh I thought we were on the highway I said 65 mile an hour because I thought we were on the highway now turn right onto Ozone Drive now turn left to take the interstate 26 west ramp there we go okay so this is um, this is where we were going to disengage anyway because I didn't want to go on the freeway. I wanted to take this route here. And the road is indeed 45 mile an hour, not 25 right there. So that was a good slowdown for that car. What it needs to do now is speed back up. It does a, a much better job now at adjusting for speed of cars in front and slowing down, but it does not adjust for the car once it's already out of out of the way. It just needs to go ahead and just. Um, start speeding back up uh, or if anything like slow down like a little bit less and just start getting closer as because as a human we know the car is going to leave that route traditionally this has been a um, very easy drive for full self driving we're likely to get zero disengagements but we'll see uh, usually it makes it all the way until uh, so we get onto the highway 25, which is you know, all the way up there on the map. But, uh, I've never had an issue in Saluda, but we'll see. This is a different version. I, I don't think I've done this route since 10.0 10 or 10.1. It's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, but this is always a good little test of curvy roads. This, this will tell me if it's going to be faster around curves. It does indeed seem slightly faster around curves. I'm definitely noticing that with this version. Let's see how it slows right here. Now turn right onto East Main Street. I kind of wanted to thought about turning right there. We're also getting really close to the right side here. This has never done that. Normally it's kind of stayed in the middle. It's not a bad thing. Uh, it's a yield, so I'm going to press it through. Ooh, that was kind of a quick jerk right there. I'm also going to go ahead and slow the speed down because the speed limit right here is 20 mile an hour. And I've seen a police car uh, stopped here at the bottom of the road multiple times. Uh, this is also a school zone. Uh, and it is a school day, of course, 6 p.m. afterwards. So, But it's not something in this area you want to be speeding. A significant amount. Again, it needs to stuff like that. If they would just get it to where it would start slowing down two speed limits and start speeding up, that would be a significant um, improvement in terms of overall smoothness. It's having some head, head hesitancy with that yellow light right there. It normally does every single time. It seems kind of odd to me that yellow light and blinking yellows have such hesitancy now. It's, it should already know uh, what's going on. In 500 feet, we are left onto U.S. Highway 176. Seems to be handling the cars out on the road just a tiny bit better. Normally I go 20 mile an hour through here, but um, it seemed to like not, it's before it kind of weaved in and out. Um, plus, it is not turning the blinker on here. Now that seems to go away um, each other version. Um, what happens common here, uh, if you haven't seen the previous videos, is that the mountain curves, sorry, what I'm trying to say, when you're going around all these curves in the mountains, it thinks it's a, it thinks it's a straight turn for some reason, instead of, you know, a continuous road, you're going back and forth, 
Um, and it just thinks it's a turn and then has to turn the blinker on from there. And this is the first time I think it hasn't ever done that in Saluda, so that's good. Okay, braking too hard for here. It's not, it doesn't have any shadows to deal with in this type of lighting. It also has its brights on, and it's just, it's not, like, it's not dark enough to require brights. And so you're just, I think, we'll see if it turns it on. So again, the speed limit is no longer 55 here. This is map, bad map data. Again, I wish we had some way to report bad map data and just get these things correct. If like the Tesla community would just get together, like we could literally fix these things so quickly. I mean, maybe you would have to have like a verified account or something that you're not gonna like falsely report and you know make a speed limit go up in speed so you can legally go faster or something. I don't know. Ooh, that was a pothole there. That's new. Um, I can tell you right now, it is most definitely going fast around curves, and I love that. However, what it is doing, and it, it's, it's, I don't know how easy it is to tell from the video, but it is slowing down and speeding up uh, somewhat like here. It's uh, too aggressive, slow down. It could slow down so much smoother around this, and now it can speed back up. And it's kind of slows down really aggressively instead of right now it should slow down and then right instead now it starts jamming on the brake as you're in the turn it needs to slow down before you get to the turn and continue to slow down into the turn and then it's not going to feel so jerky back and forth it's definitely improved going on corners i can definitely can definitely confirm i don't think there are again that many beta testers a little bit close to that car because of the lines. And also, um, any any motion like that, I kind of blame myself for because the car doesn't like having the accelerator push going around corners, at least at this time. It, so it's really hesitant when it comes. To, uh, it seems to just not think right it, when you're pushing it. You know, it kind of gets nervous, if you will. See, right now I'm pushing it and it wanted to kind of cross the yellow line there. I personally think it can go 35 in here, no problem. Like, even, I think the normal speed, like, the speed limit's 40 right here. But I think it's perfectly acceptable to go 35 mile an hour. It feels totally comfortable. 40 mile an hour would probably feel a little bit fast around those sharper curves right there. Like this one, it's, it's 38, came in at 34, 35. 35 feels super comfortable going around this corner. I, I don't think many people would feel uh, afraid to go around that at 35 mile an hour. Got some phantom braking there. We'll see if it stops with this stop sign. Yep, it's still, still trying to do it. A little bit better. Still gonna put a snapshot here. Now this is where we could have an issue. It wants to, it's on the yellow line right now. But it made it. I saw the cars and moved back over to the right. It's also such a pretty view at all the all the trees here. This is peak leaf season right here. This is what is it, November eighth? No, November third. Forgot which day it is. But this is actually really late, I believe, for our leaves. I think normally peak is like a week or two ago, the end of October in this area seems really late I think it's just because it's it's just war warming up it's been warm every year in October and I think that's making our leaf season go back further and further I'm very happy uh, with the improvements to curbs it is it's very noticeable uh, how much better it goes around curbs I'm not perfectly satisfied Mind you, there's still definitely room for improvement, but it is substantially better than it was a few updates ago. 
you can tell that UPS truck that kind of stopped right there. It was like kind of going back and forth. My car was like thinking like, should I brake? Should I not? Should I brake? Is it in my way? Uh, so it already recognized that UPS truck up there as something in its way. So here is going to be our spot of contention. Can we make this turn? And we probably will because it's probably going to be very aggressive. We don't, the cars you can see up ahead with their lights. Yeah, no problem at all. And that was very confident going through that corner. This is used as the spot we have our disengagement at. So we still have a chance. Um, and navigation, wow, well, navigation finally fixed itself. Ooh, we're going really fast up on the on this off ramp here. No, no. Okay, okay. Just don't swerve. Okay, it kind of swerved there. It definitely kind of swerved, but fortunately it wasn't a car in the left lane. And it didn't go into the left lane. That's important to know. Uh, I do like this. Uh, I wasn't somewhat expecting it, but I do like the speed increase on the on ramp. Uh, that's uh, really nice to get up to speed um, before I get onto the highway. So here's going to be a good test. I'm, I don't think it's going to do it. I'm just going to head and start slowing us down. Maybe it'll train the car. Thankfully they repaved this recently so it, it's much smoother and the lines are much much better than it used to be. This needs to be slowing down way more. Okay, so that's good. It might be because I did it manually. Oh yeah, I see it's slowing down really hard there. More than I even slowed it down to. I just used to slow down smoother. What's gonna happen, it needs to go where that van is, and it's gonna like jam on the brakes right here. So if it can make this turn, and I don't see why it won't. It's not a car coming. That stopped very well and made it. We got everyone a zero disengagement drive. That's very excellent. Uh, that's because I said it that way. But um, yeah, that was a very good drive. Definitely noticeable improvements with this route at 10.3.1. Uh, we'll probably do this again in a few versions or so, and we'll see what it gets us. Appreciate you watching, everyone, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.